Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it'd be fun to share with you exactly how I'm editing my videos right now. So I use two tools. I use iMovie and Canva. Put those two together and I'm able to do everything that I want to with my YouTube videos. So whether that's adding graphics, titles, or animations, I can do it with these two pieces of software, both of which have free or very low cost plans. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I edit my videos and how I can do this in a really simple and not time consuming way. Not time consuming, I probably could have just said quick. This is simple and quick. First things first, let's talk about filming. For that, I am using the tools QuickTime or Loom. Both of these tools are easy to use, allow me to film on my webcam and quickly save to my computer. So I would highly recommend using those. Links for all of the tools that I mentioned will be in the description below. Okay, so I filmed my shot, so I'm going to open up my downloads folder. And this is the example clip that we're working with. Next, we are going to open up iMovie and click create new movie. And then I'm going to take my video clip and drag it right in here to the editor. So that I can see it easily and edit, I'm going to zoom in. So just zoom in how you normally would on your mouse. So the very first thing that I do is edit my clips. As you can see at the beginning here, I'm just like fixing my hair. So we need to edit that out. There's two ways that you can do this. You can either go to the edges of your clip and just simply drag it in to crop that out. Or you can go into your clip, you can hit Command B, and that's going to split the clips up. Okay, so I could do that. And let's say that I wanted to take out this entire section. I would go over here to the right side, hit Command B again, then select on this clip and delete that section simply by hitting the delete key on my keyboard. So those are your options in terms of editing. Now, what's really great is these little sound waves here on our screen. That is letting you know when you are talking. So it makes it really quick and easy to edit. All you need to do is visually look at those sound waves and when there's nothing there, you can just pull it in and edit those out, okay? So hopefully that saves you some time. So the first step is to go through, edit your video and edit out any mistakes. Next, I like to add any graphics to my video and for that I use Canva, which is just such a phenomenal tool. All you need to do is click create a design and then hit custom size and you can type in the dimensions 2000 by 2000, making sure that this is set to PX and then hit create new design. Awesome, so let's say that I wanted to add a graphic of a computer to my video. What I can do is go over here to elements and then in the search bar type computer. Okay, and then specifically I'm looking for graphics, so I'm going to click that. As you can see, there are all these different graphics here that I could use and add to my video. So let's say that I like this one here, I can simply click on that then I can make it bigger by pulling on the edges of that, okay? And then I'm just going to hit download. Download as a PNG file with a transparent background and hit download. So this is what I do anytime I just want to add a standalone graphic or this is how I add any logo of the different tech tools that I use as well. Okay, so back into iMovie, then we're gonna open up our downloads and we're going to take that graphic and drag it in, this time on top of our existing file. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, it's going to actually go in, it's gonna look like that. So we need to make a few changes. So just make sure that that clip is highlighted. Then you're going to go up here and change this to picture in picture. Awesome. And one other thing, go up here to this icon, okay, and change it to fit. Hit the check mark icon. Perfect. Okay, so now obviously it's really small. So click again on this icon here. And then you can drag out the corners to make this as big as you would like and you can move it around. And you have a few options too as to how this appears on screen. So I'm just going to hit the check mark. Right now it's going to dissolve on. Or I can click this again and I could change it to zoom. 
okay, which is going to look like this. Or you could change it to swap, but honestly, that one's a little weird. <laughs> So those are your options. Or if you don't want to use any of those, you can click this icon here, change it back to dissolve and change this here to zero. Okay, so now once you do that, it is simply going to pop up on screen. Now let's say that you wanted to add a photo to your video, exact same rules apply. So for example, I have this adorable photo of my puppy Charlie right here. Let's say that I wanted to add it to this video. All I need to do is grab this file, drag it on top over here. Perfect, right? Is that not so cute? Okay, so then I'm going to go up here, change this to picture and picture. I'm gonna go over to crop, change it to fit, hit the check mark and we're good, okay. Now, of course, it's super small. So hit picture and picture again, drag out the corners, and then you can position this image wherever you would like. So I'm actually gonna like go and do something like that. <laughs> okay, so now if we hit play, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so that was just simple graphics or photos, but now I wanna show you how to add animated graphics. So for this one, we're going to go back to Canva. We're going to click create a design. And this time you can just search YouTube and look for YouTube thumbnail. Perfect. And this is going to give you the correct dimensions for a video. So this time, let's say that I wanted to add coffee, but I wanted it to be animated. So again, you're going to go over to elements and here you're going to search for coffee. Awesome, but this time go over here to this little slider icon, click on that and check animated and then apply filters. Perfect, so as you can see, you're going to get all these little animated cups of coffee, including a grumpy coffee right here. <laughs> all right, so let's say I wanna keep it simple and use this one. I'm going to select that, cool. And then I'm going to resize it. So I know that in this video, I'm in the middle here. So just keep that in mind. With this particular strategy, we can't change the positioning of it once it's in iMovie, okay? So I'm gonna say that I want my coffee over here. And then here's a little trick for you. You're going to click on the background. Then you're going to click on this color wheel here. And I want you to select a green. So you can click right here to add a new color. And I want you to select a really ugly, bright green. <laughs> okay, don't worry. You're probably worried at the moment. Do not worry. So now you're going to hit download and download as an MP4 video. Okay, so let's go back into iMovie. And so now we're going to add our coffee. So I'm gonna grab that file, drag it in up top. Perfect, and as you can see, this is what it's gonna look like by default. Okay, so all you have to do is click on it, then come up here, click on the drop down, and change it to green slash blue screen. Perfect, once you do that, the ugly green is going to go away, and you get this cute animated coffee in your video. So if you've ever seen me do any sort of animation like that, this is how I've done it. Of course, there are other softwares that allow you to do this, but this is just a really simple beginner way. And it's not just coffee. There are all sorts of animated graphics in here. Um, let's say, okay, celebration, click on the slider, go to animated, apply filters. And as you can see, we have all sorts of animations that you could add to your video. So you can use the same strategy when it comes to text. Now in iMovie, you can add titles by clicking titles, but I just don't like these ones as much. So I use this same technique for my text. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm going to duplicate this page so that I can keep that awesome green. Delete that coffee. Okay, then I'm gonna go over to text and I can add in my text. So I'm just gonna do, hello. Okay, make this much bigger. Perfect. So once I have that text, I can actually click on the background and go over here to animate. Click on that and you'll see all these different options for 
the way the text will appear on screen. So for example, block looks like that. Breathe looks like that. Uh, stomp <laughs> looks like that. So for this one, I think I'm going to need to change the text to white so that we can read it. So I'm going to click on the text, go up here to this A symbol and change the text to white. Now I'm going to download as an MP4 video, making sure to only select the page with the text on it and hit download. Then in iMovie, I'm simply going to take that shot, put it on top of my existing clip, click on it, change it to green slash blue screen. Perfect. And now if I hit play, my text will pop on like that. So those are the most important parts. Now you know how to add graphics, photos, animations, and titles to your video. Now the next thing I do is add some music to my video. So for that, you're just going to take your music file. So here I have my YouTube song. You're just gonna take that, and this time you're going to drag it to the bottom. That is how you add in music. And then you can click on it and you can take this line that is across the middle and you can drag that lower to make it nice and quiet and more of a background music. <laughs> and if you would like it to fade in, you can go right up here to this little circle and drag that over to the right. Okay, so now that will fade in and you can actually fade out as well. Now the next thing I need to do is add in my outro to this video. So I'm going to bring that in here and you can see that this looks like this. Okay, this is something that I made in Canva as well. So I have another video showing you exactly how to do that, which I'll link to in the description below. So that is pretty much all you need to do to edit your YouTube videos. Then once you're done to export it, all you need to do is go up to file, share, and share this as a file. Generally, when I'm exporting, I will do this as my best quality, better quality. I will export this, and then I will use the tool Handbrake to compress it before I upload it to YouTube, and that is it. So you'll find links to all the tools that I mentioned down below. I hope that this video was helpful for you and help simplify editing your videos. All right guys, there you have it. So that is how I'm editing all my videos right now in a really quick and simple way. I hope that you found this video valuable. If you did, please give it a like. That helps others find it. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet already and I'll see you real soon with another video.